You right there guys, how's it going? Well today, um, <clears throat> I'm a little bit fed up with always missing my post. Keep always missing my post because I'm always in the shed. Nobody's ever in the house. So I'm gonna make a couple of signs up so people know where I am. So first of all, we need to print out the, um, the lettering that I need. What I'm doing is I'm just typing in, I'm in the, um, and then we'll make that shed, shed. Uh, and I've print uh, that's at 88 uh, font size. And I printed it a couple of times so I was happy with it. So that's the size it's going to be. And then <clears throat> I saved an image of a shed. You go to insert image, upload from computer, click on the shed, and then I just mucked around with it until I got it to the size I wanted, which was roughly that big. Um, <clears throat> and I've come up with this image. So I think I might put that like next to it or something like that. Um, what I might do is get an image of, uh, so how I found that uh, shed by the way, was I just typed in shed, shed images, cartoons. What I might do though is put post images cartoon. Um, and I might find a letter, T T R letter. And I could do with a space. So I'm gonna pretty much find a letter, probably put on the other side. So I'll put I'm in the shed with shed on that side and then probably some posts on that side. So we'll do that. So we'll do that now. So we've cut them out. All I need to do now is glue them onto the wood. My plan is to have the little letter um about there. It says I'm in the shed about there. And then a little shed there. So we'll glue those down. So while I was printing these off, I was doing one for my uh, mate's parents as well. So this is a, a house sign for them. So that's all glued on there now. Just gonna wait for these to dry a little bit and then we'll router them out. So for this one, uh, I'll just be using a small uh, flat bit and for this one we'll be using a 90 degree grooving blade. We'll be putting it into this little router here uh, and I'm also going to use the chamfer um, blade as well. So when we're done, cut it all to length, going to chamfer all the edges. So now <clears throat> I've got some black paint here. I'm just gonna try and get it into all of this, all these uh, grooves I've cut out. Now it doesn't have to be um, neat at all because we'll be sanding it again. I've only taken this to about 80 grit. And then all I need to do is leave that to dry and then we'll sand it uh, right down to where it needs to go, cut the edges, um, and then we just need to put some hooks on it. Oh, we'll need to varnish this as well. So we'll leave this to dry. So for this sign, I'm gonna use Milliput uh, just to make it a little bit more uh, nicer, uh, a little bit more robust. So I've mixed up, you know, decent size here. By the way, if you do play with Millie, put, put gloves on. Uh, this will be a nightmare to get off. It's just that I don't have any gloves at the moment. And then, I'll just put this into this gap.
Now the paint's dry on this, all we've got to do is give it a sand. For this one, all I've got to do is sand down this excess milli putt that's in here, um, and then I'll get back to you. Right, I'm just going to use some methylated spirits to clean up the wood and see what it's going to look like. So I'm just going to route a chamfer all over the edge. So I've got some of these little brass inserts that I want to put into the corner. So I've measured out about two and a half centimetres. I'm just going to mark where I want to drill the hole. Right there. I put a mark on the drill bit as well to how deep I want to go. And then all I need to do is tap it in with a block. So I've got here some yacht varnish. Um, this is the exterior um, yacht varnish. So I'm going to do probably three or four coats of this stuff. And then uh, it's ready to be um, hung up. 